Hello everybody, my name is Elaine Nelson. Today I'm going to talk about new enhancements we have for 22A related to service orders and field tasks by division. Welcome aboard. So we're going to talk about benefits and features, give you some implementation advice, and show you a quick demo. So service orders and field tasks by division. So we are starting to um, get a lot of large customers that have operations in multiple states, multiple divisions, for example, we have one customer that's in 11 states. We've got another customer that's in um, several states, but has many divisions and several commodities. So what they're saying is that they need to have different types of, of field work by division. So it, it may be due to regulatory rules, union rules, various other reasons that they would do things a little differently by division. So we've added an enhancement that allows you to pick how you want the field work and service orders to be called based on you know where they are and how they operate. So it supports different work calendars, different processes. And this can be things for like uh, enable service, disable service, but it can also be for field task. So the benefit is it's going to reduce build time and cost for the people implementing this. It does support multi-opco companies and it's going to reduce manual errors. So let's see how you do this. So implementation advice. So there's, there's a few steps, but they're really simple. So I think you'll find this really easy. You gotta add a CIS division. Uh, you have to assign the, the, the newly added division to the users that have access to it. Uh, and you do that through the, the user security. You have to assign divisions to service point types that are gonna use that division. And that's off service point types. You're gonna have to assign divisions to service order types and to field task types. So which activities are actually gonna use these divisions? So if, if I want to have service order process like enable service different for one division versus the other, you're gonna set up two divisions and set up different uh, orchestrators for each of those divisions. And likewise, if you have different field task types, you'll set up different field task types uh, for each division. You're then gonna turn on division security. Now you may, you know, what, what you'll find yourself doing is you'll be turning on division security, testing, turn it off, testing, because once you turn it off and you don't have access to a division, you won't see those records. So it's, it's actually kind of fun. So to add a division, you're going to go CIS division and hit the add button. Really easy. You see the ones we're going to be working with today are division one and Ohio. You're then going to go to the user security, like this is my security, and I went in and I added a division, and I'm going to give myself access to division one. Then you're going to go to the service point types that uh, you'll be working with, and you're going to assign that division to that service point type. In this, in this instance, I've, survived, I've defined division one to be an E res div one. Next, you're going to go to and search by SOM activity types. It's very important that you, if you're in CCS, to search by SOM activity types uh, because there's th these are specifically related to SOM. So if you're in CCS or CWM, search by SOM activity types. And, um, and you can see we have field activity, which is the original one. We have one specific to Division 1. Now, there's a trick you guys need to, to note. Uh, the UI, if the UI has redundant activity types, it will not show all of them. It will only show one, unless you sh hit this button down here that says show all activity types equal to yes, then you will see both. So make sure that it, you know, when you add a, a second one for your second division, you start using this show all activity types equal to yes, or you will not see your new divisions. You're then going to assign division codes to the individual field activities you want to use. So in this case, I have a field activity called Division 1, and I set up the division code for Division 1 security. And you're also going to assign division codes to your service order orchestrator. So here we have a service order orchestrator for enable service, and I've assigned a division code to it also. Pretty simple. Then uh, you're going to want to turn on control by division. So you go to installation options and you say control by division, yes. And once you do that and you're signed in, it's going to use your user security to say what activity types you can see and what activities you can see. So just be cognizant of that. I know I've been configuring the application and 
I'm wondering why I don't see a record. Well, it's because I got division security on, so be cognizant of that. We're now going to see a quick demo of, of how this will work. So let me sign in. So we're, remember, we have various steps to go through. And we just talked about, and the first thing is to set up the CIS division. So I'm going to use the search bar. And I could go through the menu options, but it's easier just to do a forward slash CIS and find CIS division. And we can see that we have a division one, which we'll be using and an Ohio division. So that's perfect. Now let's go and look at my user profile to see what security access I have. And so every user will have to be set up appropriately to make sure they have the right security access. So you see on the, the miscellaneous tab off user security, I have access to division one. Now you could have went slash user and search for me that way. You'd get to the same screen. We also need to check the service point types that will be used in that division. So we can forward slash service point types. And here we have our e-residential div one. And if we broadcast it, you can see we have the division code set up. Perfect. Now we want to do a SOM activity search, activity type search. We go SOM activity types. And we'll see we have the original enable service activities for Ohio. But we have a division one that, that I've already copied over. And we have field activity originally for Ohio, but we now we have a copy of those used for division one that, that we could modify. Now, once we turn user security on, these may disappear. These may disappear. These may disappear. So remember, and if you don't see both records, uh, you want to use this this button all activities because so there are situations where the the redundant entry like uh, the two field activities will not show up. The reason they're showing up without the yes being picked was I was just in the screen, so it remembered the last query. But if so, if you have duplicate entries and you're not seeing them, sh use the show all activity types. Okay, now let's um, now let's go into our installation options and actually turn on division security. So let's go installation options, installation options, and let's control by CIS division. You see this? Turn this on. Hit the save button. And we go back to our SOM activity types. And <laughs> you'll notice we only have the Ohio, the Ohio activities are gone. We only have the Division I Enable Service Orchestra and the Division I Field Activity for Division I. Even if we hit the Yes button, it doesn't matter. They're not going to show up because we don't have security rights to it. So if you're a you know, if you're a user, let's, and, and you were going to create a field activity, let's do, let's go search by address. Let's do 10202 Dunvegan. Now this service point is, is assigned to uh, division one. This service point is division one. So if we try and do an activity, for the Ohio field activity, it's not gonna be an option. Try to add an activity. Field activity. You see field activity is only available for division one, just like the orchestras are available for division one. The Ohio, the Ohio activity is not even an option. So that is how you control field work and service orders by division. Now for service order orchestrators, those are generally automatically generated. And that configuration is based off the service point type, uh, off, off the like enable service orchestrators. So that, that'll continue to work as it is, but it will also look at the division code now when it automatically generates service orders. So uh, thank you very much for your time.